Hey there, fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Paris, and today we're gonna talk about are the most French food that you can have when you're here in Paris. And I'll be honest, these are like the French staples that you can find all over the country, but if you wanna make sure you hit like the most important things, these are it. But I have to warn you, if you're coming to France, every region has their own specialty. So if you're going to Normandy, it's gonna have some different specialties like the cider that's out there, the oysters, First, if you're going to go to Nice in the south with the different seafoods they have down there. So just wanna give a heads up. So this is kinda of like your go-to Frenchiest of the French food to have when you're here. And if you're looking for a starter, you can't get more French than escargot. Yes, snails, okay? If you have had snails before, they're fantastic. And the thing is, they're just drowned in butter when you're here and you have them. And they'll give you this weird little like contraption to hold it because that pan's gonna be hot. So you grab it, use a little fork, poke them out, eat them. Mm, kids love them, adults love them, everyone loves them. If you haven't had them before, you're gonna find them on menus all over Paris. So get that. Another good starter, or if you're not really super hungry, you're looking for something just to keep you going until a great dinner at night, is of course French onion soup, or as they call it here, just onion soup, you know, soup a l'oignon. Um, you could have that, and what it is is like, you have the, the beef broth with the onions in there, and there's bread and the cheese on top, and oh my God, it's so good. But I will tell you, when you get it, be careful, because when you kind of poke it through the cheese and through the bread to get to the soup, it's gonna be like boiling hot. So be aware of that if you're gonna get it for your kids, okay? Or, or for yourself, because eh, I've lost a few taste buds over the years over being too excited for my, my uh, French onion soup, okay? Um, now, another kind of quickie you can get when you're here, and you'll actually see it on the trains, on the SNCF trains as well, is the croque monsieur, which is basically the French um, ham and cheese sandwich, but like grilled ham and cheese sandwich, and it's fantastic. You got bread, ham, cheese, it's like Gruyere over top, or Emmental, like people use different cheeses on it, but it is so good, but you're not really always gonna eat it with your hands. You might cut it with a fork and knife sometimes, especially if you get it for kids or on the train. I would recommend that to keep your hands uh, from getting all the greasiness there, but that's a very easy, like typical snack thing you're gonna see. Now, if you want another really good snack that you might get at a bakery or you might get at a, at a, at a shop or a bistro, Quiche Lorraine, okay? This is a ham and cheese quiche, all right? It is the most popular quiche. It is the go-to quiche to have when you are here. And you can get it as a slice, you can get a little version of it, you get a whole one, whatever you want, but you'll see that a lot of places, and I do recommend you getting it. It's actually one of the foods I require myself to have when I first come here. So when we got here the other day, I went to the bakery and I got myself a croissant and a piece of quiche Lorraine because it is a must when you're here. And speaking of those croissants, that is another thing you should have. You need to go to a bakery when you're here, and there's three things I recommend getting. One, get a butter croissant. Look, it is better than any crescent roll you had back home. You want to have one of those. Then there's pan au chocolat, which is basically a chocolate croissant. It is fantastic. You want to have that. And then you just want to grab a baguette. And I know it sounds silly when people say, oh, just grab a baguette and cheese and sit out here on the Seine and or on the river and look at and take in the sights. Really, the baguettes here are that good. The bread is fantastic here, okay? So grab a baguette and some butter, and honestly, that can be a lunch because it's so good, but if you want to spice up the lunch a little bit, another thing you have to have when you come here are the cheeses. And you'll see the from fromagerie, the, the cheese shops around, and so you can go, it's literally like there'll be a bakery here, and there'll be a cheese shop here, and maybe a butcher in between, and you can get your meat, your cheese, and your bread all together. And there's tons and tons of great cheeses from all over France. Just pick one that looks good to you, or two, or three, and have that. But the cheeses that are here are unbelievable, okay? Now, if you're looking for another quick snack when you're going by, I know I'm talking about the bakery stuff a lot, but they're important, are tarts. There's tarte tantan, which is a like apple tart, but Jocelyn's favorite is the lemon tart, or tarte de citron. Uh, which is fantastic. I like pear tarts. So you have a lot of these little sweet, you know, cakes you can have, which are wonderful, or tarts, I should say. And I know if we're talking about sweets and, and nice little easy things to eat, I think one of the ones that's really important, my kids would probably kill me if I did not tell you about it, is just grabbing a crepe on the street, getting a crepe with Nutella inside. It is one of those must-haves when you're here in Paris. And you'll see the creperies all over. You can go inside and you can have the crepe with Nutella, the sweet one, or you can have a galette, which is a savory one. You can do that as well. So there's lots of different options for you, but that is one thing you need to have no matter where you are in Paris or France. Um, if you're looking for more of a sit-down meal kind of thing, uh, you, of course, there's always steak fates. So stay intercote with fries. It sounds silly, but it sounds simple, but it's fantastic. That's always a great go-to. 
really great beef here in France and in Paris, okay? Um, another great one is uh, duck, the confit de canard, which is the probably the best, it's like slow roasted duck. Oh my God, it is incredible. I and mean, you have that when you're here, <sighs> everything is better with the, you know, everything is better in the world. And then if you're here in Paris, look, France is wine. And when you're here in Paris, you'll have the option to buy wines from all over the country. And so please, do that. Enjoy the French wines when you are here, because even if you're just sitting at a cafe, having a glass of wine with your croque monsieur or just, you know, a, a little snack, it is something that just, just makes you feel like you're here in Paris, okay? So another thing you're going to see is quite famous here is foie gras, which is, you know, goose liver, pate, basically. And some people, like, people have very strong feelings about it, but it's something you can have when you are here. Um, I know I've had it multiple times, which you'll get is you'll get the pate and they'll give you some bread. You put it on there, maybe with a little jam or a chutney on it as well. It could be fantastic. And there's just so many great foods you're gonna have when you're here. And I, and I gotta let you know, when you go out to eat in France or in Paris, I mean, there's so many options you have that asking someone where's a good place to eat is like asking what air should I breathe if it's all good, okay? So you have a lot of options. One thing I will say is if you're gonna come to eat in Paris, if you're going to be here on weekends, make sure you make a reservation for dinner because the restaurants book out and restaurants might not have like every 15 minute sittings. It might be we have a seven o'clock sitting and a nine o'clock sitting. OK, so if you have kids, realize that some of the restaurants don't serve at like four o'clock or five o'clock. Their kitchen might not be open. That's why some of those snacks I talk about, those are going to be easier to get during the day. So be aware of that. Also, no, when you go to eat in France, it's not about fast eating. Yes, they have quick which is their version of McDonald's, which actually is awesome. If you're looking for fast food, quick is great. But honestly, you need to have patience when you're here, getting your menu, sitting down, getting your food, getting your water, getting your appetizer and your main course and your desserts that you have to have every course because it's French, it's gonna love it. But you have to have patience with it, okay? So be aware of that. And also, I know I say get reservations on the weekend, but if you're here in the summer during tourist season, it actually wouldn't be a bad idea to make reservations during the week as well, okay? so. I've got a little hungry talking about all this and it's about one o'clock, so I need to go grab myself maybe some French onion soup or or maybe I'm gonna go get the duck. I think I'm gonna go for the duck today. Anyway, I wish y'all the best. Have a great time here in Paris. If you want more, we've got safety advice for Paris, the don'ts of Paris, scams of Paris, tourist traps of Paris. Basically, anything you wanna know from getting to CDG to Paris and more, we've got on our website at waltersworld.com or just find us here on YouTube and put in Paris Walters World Lots of stuff will show up. So thank you to all our patrons and members who help make honest travel videos like this possible. If you want to learn how to, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. Bye from here in Paris.